and sisters and brothers. My name is Mike Siebert. I'm Vice President of the Labor Council, Toronto and York Region. And I want to welcome you here today and thanks for coming out. You know, the issue that's facing is very, very important. We went through a time when we had a legitimate demonstration here where the civil rights of Canadians were taken away. Not taken away, they were, they were stolen, they were robbed and stepped on. And nobody seems to want to be accountable for it. So this, you know, coming out today after a snowstorm, major snowstorm that Toronto's had the last couple of years, to vent your anger and your displeasure at the powers that be, says something for the citizens of this province and the city of this country. Again, thanks for coming out. Uh, look around, you see people from all walks of life. Gentle, young, old. And the concerns are on their face. What's next? We let these people get away with this. What's their next step? Canceling the elections. We've already seen Parliament broke. Parliament cancelled at the whim of the Prime Minister who did not want to lose his government. We've seen the RCMP get involved in a federal election, leak documents to the press that caused the defeat of a Liberal government, which I'm not really mad about. And what about <laughs> Dalton McGinty, Mike? Tell me about Dalton McGinty. Dalton McGinty. <laughs> and so, you know, you know, it just goes on and on and on. As a good friend of mine, Sherry Denova, who's the, the MP for High, NDP MP for High Park, she said, someone asked her, well, why are we here? She said, well, this is our property. She said, we should have this inside, this building, because it belongs to us. We yeah. paid for it. We right. paid for the maintenance of it. Amen. These people have got to remember that. Now, Sherry has been asked to come out and say a few words, and that, I'd like to introduce you to Sherry Denova, NDP hey, MP. we're here and that's to stand up for democracy. Uh, it was very clear on the weekend of the G20 that uh, we did not live in a democratic province or country. Uh, anyone uh, who was out on the streets, who was hassled by police, anyone who was witness to the fact, as I was inside that building while the House was in session, that an old uh, regulation could be dusted off and put into process by a cabinet without even letting elected representatives know, never mind the people of Ontario know, uh, a, a policy that then resulted in mass arrest, mass detention. I saw in Parkdale, uh, the occupation of Parkdale, that's all I can call it, uh, police came in and closed down Queen Street. They were provocative. They were provoking uh, problems. Uh, this is th directly the result of actions by the Dalton McGuinty cabinet. We in the NDP have called for an inquiry both federally and provincially. Uh, we're thankful that Andre Moran brought in his report. It was an excellent report. But we need to hold these people accountable. Yes. We live yeah. in a yeah. Yeah. I mean, for a weekend, we lived in a police state. If we think that we have democracy, look how paper thin that so-called democracy was that weekend. Look how quickly they could take away all of our valuable rights. So somebody has to be held accountable. We need an inquiry so we can call people to testify. We need to get to the bottom of who gave the orders. And we need to hold them uh, to the people, in front of the people, uh, that they so, uh, they so denigrated that weekend. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that this happened while I was on my watch and the watch of all the members of provincial parliament. And you know, it's uh, really not even a right or a left issue because nobody in that place knew about the secret law. Whether you're a libertarian or a Marxist, uh, everybody was concerned about the lack of democratic freedoms that weekend. Um, we want a voice. This is not about one voice. It's about everyone having any voice. So please call your MPPs, call your MPs, demand that we have a real inquiry and really hold lawmakers, police chiefs and others to account for what happened that weekend. It was a travesty. Thank you for coming out.